Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Stephen Inks. I am in the middle of one pen, one ink, one month. A challenge I decided to do and had you guys vote on the pen I'm going to use. And it's my Pilot Kakuno. Uh, and I've decided that during this challenge for the month of February, I will be using uh, Diatremont Document Gray. A favorite, a recent acquisition of mine, um, but a really great waterproof gray ink and uh, it's been fun but quite challenging because I love all my pens. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the subject of the best converter that Pilot doesn't make. Let's check it out. Okay so uh, before we get into this the first question I want to answer is what is a converter just because I know we have some newbies out there uh, who maybe you're not as familiar with some of these terms and I just want to say you're welcome here I'm glad you're here I'm glad to answer your questions um, I'm going to show these two things right here these are ways of getting ink into your pen let's see zoom in a bit um, we've got a uh, converter which is a thing that we're talking about it can fill ink into the pen by uh, clipping onto the end this end right here and then you submerge the pen in ink and you twist the piston to pull it back and that draws the ink up like a suction thing the other alternative is to use um, these things they are called cartridges and my camera doesn't like doesn't like this one. Let's see if we can get it to focus. Yeah. And so a cartridge like this already has ink in it. And you just pop it in. And when it's uh, the ink is discarded, you either you can fill it with a syringe or you can throw it out and get a new one. Um, they're really handy for travel. And I do have a little box of these from Kaveco. Um, specific converters only work on specific pens in some cases. Kaveco and uh, Schmidt, which is the company that makes this converter right here, make what's called standard international converters. And then there are converters that only work on certain companies' pens, and those brands um, can only take their own converters. Pilot is an example, and here are two of my least favorite converters in the world for some pens that I really love like the pen that I'm going to be using today, which is the Pilot Kakuno. And there are some other great pens that Pilot makes. I don't know why their converter game is so weak. So this one's called the Con 40. And this one's called the Con 70. Again, um, they're very high in my rankings on uh, pen accessories that I really don't like. The reason why is, first of all, uh, if you look at the depth of, of this edge right here and the depth right here, there's so much space before you get the ink in, and this is actually where the pen uh, sets into the converter. So um, all this space is not ink space. This is kind of wasted space. And um, if you look at the, uh, the Schmidt and how that is lined up, there's so much less of that waste right here compared to here and here. I don't understand what that's for. For the Con 40, the thing that bugs me about it this right here is so tight and small it's kind of annoying to twist it kind of um it doesn't feel great on my knuckles uh it's got this weird little stopper right here out of metal which is to stop these um ball bearings and there's four of them and i don't know why i can't for the life of me figure out why there's four of them in case we lose one I know that one ball bearing is good for breaking up the surface tension of the ink. I just don't see the purpose behind more than one. Um, so yeah, that's not great. And then this is the Con 70. Um, the attraction here is that you can push this button, and it's like a push button um, thing, which is good, I guess. I don't know. Um, it doesn't seem to save too much time or energy because you really have to push it like really hard and fast like that to get it to come inside. And um, it doesn't really create that much suction. It looks, as you could see, it's nearly impossible to clean. I did try my best, but this is as clean as it gets. And lubricating it is pretty much out of the question. I don't know how someone would do that. I certainly can't. Um, so yeah, I really don't like these converters. Let me point out also that there are worse converters and there are better converters. And I'll explain to you what my criteria is for a good converter. But look at this. 
Look at this abomination right here. I got this with a Chinese pen. I'm not sure the brand, maybe someone knows and they can tell me, but uh, during my fake pen summer um, series last summer, and this one actually didn't, the pen didn't have a brand name on it and I couldn't find any information, so maybe they know and they're ashamed of themselves, but look at this nonsense. There's a little slide and it, it doesn't go easy. You push it in and then you pull it up by that little tiny button right there and then all of this is wasted space. Now I get that this is for a pocket pen which they usually have shorter um, spaces for ink but how much space are you saving like a full-size converter like the Schmidt? Um, there's definitely a size difference there of course but if you look at it it goes right about to there which is where the piston mechanism is. So you could probably have ink going until about here instead of all the way up here. Um, yeah, so this is probably this is probably my least favorite converter that I have. It is poorly designed. But these two right here, minus you, Schmidt, you're all right. Uh, these two right here are probably the, the, the second and third worst converters that I own on pens that I really, really like. So I don't know why, again, I just don't know why Pilot's converter game is so weak. Um, and here's an example of a converter that I love. This is the Platinum Converter. It's expensive, by the way, but it's so smooth. You barely even feel like you're twisting it when you pull it. Uh, and the reason why, I'll explain in a little bit. Nice um, connection here, really solid, never gets loose or anything like that. But the coolest part about it is you can actually twist Um, this takes a couple of twists actually, uh, but you can actually twist this off and pull the converter out and then you can lubricate this rubber ring right here and put it back in and um, you're good to go. This um, pen, this converter is going to stick around for a lot. It's going to be way more useful for a longer period of time because you can actually clean it and lubricate it and do everything that you need with it really solidly built. Um, Platinum has these, but then also uh, Sailor's converters do that and the Caveco, at least the uh, the short one for the Caveco Sport, the, the piston converter, or it's a, a pull piston converter. It's super weird, but it works that way too, um, and that's one of the things I love about it. So, what I discovered, by the way, has to do with this Mahjong A1, a somewhat controversial pen. I just hit my camera. Um, but uh, many people really love it. What it is is it's a, a pilot vanishing point basically copied 100% all the way down to the section and the nib and everything. Uh, there's videos you can check out of... Um, pen lovers taking uh, apart their Moonmans and putting the vanishing point parts inside um, and finding that it works perfectly well. So I noticed that there's a converter in here and it's not built like any of these losers right here. So uh, it actually looks like a traditional converter. It came in a little plastic case. And interestingly enough, it also came with these little um, uh, they look like just basically like pilot um, cartridges, but they don't have any ink in them. So you can fill them up and then uh, use that. And that's what's actually inside this pen right now. It works really well. But this little converter right here, it, it kind of looks like a sailor converter. It says Moon Man. And it's just a regular old converter. So um, it's about the same size as the Con 40. And you can see the pistons about at the same area right there. But it does have a longer um, shaft to the piston, so it's more comfortable to use. Ergonomically, I think it's it's there. Um, and I do believe, yes, we have my favorite quality of a converter. I can pull it apart and lubricate it. So we are going to see if this fits inside of the uh, Kakuno. And if I'm right, then Pilot's Best Converter is not made by them. And you can actually buy this section separately on like Alibaba and some other places where they sell the uh, Mahjong A1. Um, so let's just see what we've got.
Oh, that's a snug fit. I'm pretty sure this is going to work. I've discovered something magical. Yeah, I'm getting suction and everything. So let's fill it up and let's let's uh, let's draw with it. Okay, so this is the ink that I committed to. Uh, Diatramon document uh, document ink urban gray. I keep saying that wrong. Uh, it's an interesting ink. I really like the gray. It, it almost has a pencil like color and um, it uh, it is waterproof and I have a video where I on this channel where I tested those inks uh, with water and they worked really great and this one was actually my favorite one. Um, so let's just see if we can get ink into this pen. Okay, usually with these things you fill it once and then you fill it twice and you get more ink the second time. Sometimes you can even fill it three times. Okay, well, it seems like, seems like it, it worked. There's ink in there. Let's draw something. So I uh, thought I'd do something fun for you guys, um, a little drawing that uh, mostly silly, not intending to be super deep, that's the kind of stuff I do best. Um, in addition to doing this video, and I got one more video that I'm going to do at the end of the month uh, on the subject and what I've learned, um, I have also decided to do some shorts. So if you're a big fan of shorts, you could look out for a few uh, featuring this pen for this month um, as I f focus entirely on it. And uh, I'm going to be a little dr melodramatic in those shorts, um, just kind of making fun of how much I love my other pens. So uh, don't worry about me too much if you see me being super sad on there. I I'm learning a lot from using this pen and using it exclusively. Um, Definitely, it's really fun to have lots of pens, and I uh, I highly recommend if you're into fountain pens to have a, a decent collection of things you like and things that are very unique from each other. You don't want to just collect one type of pen. Um, but I'm learning a lot from this pen, uh, especially when it comes to um, just kind of how the fine lines make you really focus on the details and getting your lines right. And this is a pretty sloppy, maybe a messy drawing, you might say. But um, I feel like I'm learning a lot from it. So uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Well, that's the video for today. Thank you for stopping by. Do you have an opinion about converters? Do you personally have a particular brand or type of converter that you really, really love? Let me know in the comments below. Do you really enjoy the Pilot Con 70? Why? Um, and uh, stay tuned for more content on the Pilot Kakuno. I'm going to do one more long form video on this channel wrapping up the month. And also you can check out my shorts feed for a couple of little reflections and a few more drawings that I've done with this pen. It's a powerful uh, piece of drawing equipment. Um, I hope you're doing great. I hope you're keeping yourselves safe and happy. And I will see you in the next video.